This video is about what is a backup and how to do it properly. So often people think that if they put their data, copy their data, or move their data to a laptop, then that's their backup. But actually what they are doing is they are freeing up some space on a mobile and by moving this data on, on a laptop. <laughs> some people do back it up on the hard drive, but it's st still they end up on having um, just one copy of the data. What, um, what they're supposed to be doing, the best scenario would be three, two, one rule, the backup rule, which means that you are backing up um, your data on three copies, where two of the copies are going to be on different uh, media, so a hard drive or, or SSD or um, CD or something like, or flash drive, and one copy will be stored somewhere remotely. So it could be cloud backup, it could be just the drive taken away to another location um, or backing up to the a remote location. So this would this should be the way it's supposed to be done. But people, unfortunately, they often just move the data. So those people who do backup, they, they do usually just um, one copy additional which means that if they have, for example, a phone, then they are backing up to the cloud, either it's iCloud or, or something else. So they, they keep their data there. But very, very um, often they run out of um, space, the space where they need to actually upgrade their plan. Because at the beginning is very tempting. You just pay something like 50 or 70 P pence or whatever a month to keep um, your entire phone backed up. So it's like whatever gigabytes are there. But very soon you reach the, reach the point, especially with new phones where the cameras um, come with like 15 megapixels or more um, uh, uh, resolution, which are generating pretty big uh, images and videos, even especially if you're shooting some sort of 4K videos on your phone already, because you very likely have that sort of camera. And this is going to fill up the cloud very quickly, quickly. And the problem is that when you run out of space, you need to upgrade to another plan. You need to add more gigabytes to your storage space and this is when things get really tricky because when you start paying like 5, 10, 20 pounds a month already for storing your pictures you feel like you're trapped into the system that you can't get out anymore because you, you've got no clue how to get them out now the day that somewhere else on the hardware or something before it used to be simple you just connect to the laptop or something and, and copy the data over but now it's getting more difficult but again that's one, 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 just one copy because in this situation you are not in charge of your data. Some third party company is going to tell you how much you're going to pay, how, for how long you, they can keep this um, data on their cloud. If they end their business, you need to do something with your data, move it down down to, 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 to a hard drive something or you just simply lose it. But um, that, that's how it is. But you need to still consider another two copies, how to do another two copies for that reason. And that... Uh, the easiest way to, to um, sort this out would be with a network drive. So that's um, NAS, which, which is network hard drive, which you connect to your broadband router, which you've got in your, in your home, probably. You connect it, and now suddenly you've got this storage space in your network. You can connect uh, through your Wi-Fi. You can connect through the LAN with Ethernet cable. And you can, um, you can automate things, because this is the, the, the biggest issue, what um, usually um, people are facing that um, they would do all these things they, they, some people actually do start with um, doing backing up things properly like they are co copying data on a hard drive and then they are duplicating the hard drive and then taking one hard drive away or something but it's, it's really complicated it, it takes so much time actually and, 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 and energy to, to uh, follow through and, and keep on doing these things so you need something what is really simple to set up and is what is really automatic. So with a NAS, with network attached storage, you can actually set up automated phone backups. So the old data is going to be uh, landing on your NAS. Same with laptops or computers, they will be automatically backed up to your NAS. And then what you need to um, figure out where you're going to have, how you're going to handle these and other additional two copies. So in this, NAS, you can have two drive solution, which is like mirroring each uh, each other. So it's automatically whatever you put on the on this uh, network drive 
first drive will be mirrored to the second drive inside this box. So you get already copy. Or if you've got more drives, you can allocate one separate drive, which is going to be copying your data to, to that, to that um, additional drive. So you've got already two copies inside your NAS. Additionally, what else you can do is um, you can um, copy, you can attach network, uh, not that you can attach uh, uh, USB or uh, eSATA uh, external drive. And also you can uh, set it up this way that every time you connect to your NAS, to your storage device, it will automatically copy data to this um, hard drive. Or you can um, keep it plugged in, it's not recommended, but you can just leave it there plugged into your NAS. So it's gonna automatically, uh, as you set the schedule, for example, once a week or once a day, it will be backing up certain folders to this uh, external hard drive. Um, that, that's, that's one way of doing things. The uh, other option would be backing up to a um, cloud. So if you don't want to, because you will need to figure out this uh, remote sort of backup, one copy which goes remotely. So you can either go for a um, cloud backup, which could be Synology Cloud, Amazon Cloud, Box, Dropbox, whatever you choose. Uh, it, it sounds very difficult, but it's like sometimes it's as easy as just putting username and password and um, maybe some uh, access, access key or something. This is uh, how you back up. But what I would recommend if you have a friend who is a NAS as well, what you can do is like you can share a storage space. You can make agreement that you will allocate like one terabyte uh, on your NAS and he will do the same on his side. So in this case, NAS automatically will back itself up to a friend's NAS, whatever location they, they let you use. And in return, they can back up their NAS to your NAS. So in that case, um, instead of having a NAS running all the time in background with, with um, this empty storage space available for no purpose, it's just eating up your electricity, you can actually make use of it. So someone can back up their data on your NAS and you can do the same on their NAS. So that's, that still would count as um, a cloud backup because your cloud would be this uh, additional, uh, another NAS. Or you can just buy yourself a some cheap J series, uh, NAS value series NAS and keep it some in grandparents or a friend's house and or somewhere in the basement or wherever, <laughs> somewhere in other location. So we can automatically uh, copy all data uh, to another NAS. So, it's, so that in this case, you will have um, copies uh, locally and you'll have copied remotely. So whatever happens, you can get your data back. And there are other things what you can um, we can talk about is um, uh, version control. So not only you can um, duplicate your data on another drive or in the cloud, you can also create versions of the same file. Uh, because not, it's not always about um, uh, keeping your data safe as it is. Sometimes you just accidentally delete file or even worse, you, you edit file and, and you accidentally delete a few paragraphs or, or change a few paragraphs in, in a text document or something. And, and therefore, instead of losing a file, you lose the content on the file. So with, with a network drive, you can actually go back, roll back in previous versions of, of the file. And there's even not just file, you can um, do something called snapshots, which means that similar like on Windows System Restore, the similar uh, function applies on um, NAS, where you can, entire NAS has versions. So you can, if, you, if you've messed up something or you got uh, hit by a ransomware attack or something, you can go back to uh, yesterday's version of your entire data or last week's version and you get your data back. That, that's, that's really good thing. Another thing is um, deduplication, de which means that when you are backing up to the cloud, like, and you have like lo um, loads of data to back up, you might, um, it might take so much time to actually do a full backup of your, of your data. So with a NAS, it can be uh, really smart that it can do these incremental backups. And it's not just incremental backups, it's also this deduplication is checking what sort of data already similar exists and it can add bits of data which have changed to, 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 to this um, outside backup. So therefore we can save um, storage space. So instead of having like five different um, uh, copies of your windows you just have 
one copy of Windows, whereas like few files changed, and and those those files are uh, uh, taking this extra storage space on this um, storage place where you, where you back up. And uh, and this uh, there is an automation and um, uh, recovery. That that's that also an important thing. How easy it's going to be for you to recover, because if you go for um, uh, hard drive option if you back up to a hard drive you need to, to recover you need to connect it to your laptop or something and get the data back that way if you um, if you run uh, a NAS solution backup then all you need to do is just click previous version you go back so you can recover quickly um, and this this is um, thing I've, I've covered pretty much uh, everything what this 3 to 1 uh, means that so just to sum up, we can as well say there's three copies, uh, where two copies are on different media, and one uh, one copy is stored somewhere remotely. Uh, this this is with a backup. Um, I hope um, this was answering your question. Uh, if you got any other questions, you can always go to um, Nask Compares or ask Nask Compares and uh, put your question in there, or send email to info Nask Compares and. And if the question will be interesting enough, we can uh, make a video so we can help others as well. Um, thank you for your question and uh, have a lovely day.